This is the video I wish I had watched before wasting time and money on the wrong data analyst certifications. Because here's the truth, most best data analyst certifications videos are just listicles. You get a long list of badges and logos and still have no idea which one actually fits you and your career goals. In 2026, there are more data certifications than ever from Google, Microsoft, IBM, Datacam, Coursera, university branded programs, you name it. Some of them can absolutely help you land the job faster and some of them, well, maybe not. So. In this video, instead of throwing 20 random certificates at you, I want to walk you through a simple five step framework to pick the right certification for your situation and then show you a few concrete examples that match each path. I'll leave a link for every resource I'll mention in this video in the description below to make it easy for you to check things out. So step number one, be clear with your goal. Before you think about platforms or brand names, you need to answer a simple question. What is the main outcome you want in the next six to 12 months? For most people watching this, it will usually be one of these. You want your first data job as a junior entry level analyst. You wanna switch lanes. For example, from operations, finance, marketing, or engineering into analytics. You already work with data and want a promotion or pay rise. Your goal matters because the same certification can be great for one person and almost useless for another. For example, if you are brand new and need to prove you can do the basics end to end, a broad beginner friendly certificate with projects is perfect. The Google Data Analytics Certificate on Coursera is a basic certificate like this. You can see from the number of people enrolled that this certificate is clearly an introductory one for the masses. If you're already an analyst, another Foundations of Data credential will just repeat what you already know and won't move the needle on your resume. So write down your main goal in one line. Get first junior data analyst role by September or move from reporting analyst to data analyst. This one sentence will filter out a lot of noise later. Step two, understand the three types of certifications. It helps to understand that not all certifications play the same role. In 2026, most data certificates fall into one of three buckets. Number one, brand recognition certificates. These are big names like Google, Microsoft, IBM, Amazon, etc. They are great for getting past HR filters, showing you understand general analytics workflows, giving you a structured path when you are starting out. They are not enough on their own. You still need projects and real life skills on top of the badge. Number two, tool specific certificates. Things like Power BI, Tableau, SQL, Excel, or cloud specific certifications, Azure, AWS, or GCP. These work best if you already know roughly which stack you want to work in. Job descriptions in your target market consistently mention that tool. You can back the certificate up with a portfolio using that tool. These can be powerful if you match them to job ads, but they are too narrow if you are still figuring out the basics. The Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Certification from Datacamp created in collaboration with Microsoft is a great example here. This program contains the Data Analyst in Power BI track, which will prepare you for the Microsoft PL300 exam. You'll gain hands-on practice in data preparation, data modeling, data visualization, and dashboard design, all essential for becoming a certified Power BI professional. Plus, and this is a huge plus. Thanks to Datacamp's partnership with Microsoft, you can get a 50% discount on the official exam, making it much cheaper to get certified and showcase your expertise on LinkedIn or your resume. And another partnership I want to disclose is Datacamp's partnership with me to make this video. They've been my go-to platform for leveling up my own data skills for years now. So I was super happy when they asked me if they could sponsor this video. Number three, career track certificates. These are structured learning paths focused on job readiness more than one exam. They often combine SQL, Python, or Excel, BI tools, projects, and case studies. These are usually the best option if you want job ready skills rather than just a logo. 
If you're serious about advancing your data career, I would highly recommend DataCamp's Data Analyst Certification here. It is a well-rounded, industry-recognized credential that will give you credibility in front of recruiters and hiring managers. Whether you're comfortable with SQL, Python, or R, this certification tests your real-world data skills through timed exams and practical projects. And the best part? Once you're certified, you gain access to an exclusive community with other certified professionals, events with industry experts, and exclusive content tailored to make you stand out in the data field. Now, let's move on to step three, match your starting point. Let's talk about where you are right now, because your starting point is just as important as your end goal. Most learners fall into one of these three groups. One, complete beginner. You've never written SQL, never opened Power BI or Tableau. You might work in a non-technical job, but use Excel a bit. In this case, look for a beginner-friendly career or foundation certificate, clear explanations, low jargon, and lots of guided practice. Browser-based tools so you avoid painful setup and can focus on learning. You do not need advanced cloud, engineering or machine learning certificates yet. You need solid foundations in data cleaning, analysis, and simple dashboards. Two, self-taught, but inconsistent. You've watched YouTube tutorials, maybe done some Udemy or Coursera courses. You know some SQL, maybe some basic BI, but your skills feel all over the place. Here, certifications can act as a structure and gap filler. Look for a career or skills track that forces you to go end to end, hands-on projects with real data sets, assessments or labs that can actually test your skills, not just theory. The goal for you is to turn scattered skills into a clean and confident story. Three, already working with data. You might be a reporting analyst, finance analyst, operations specialist, or engineer who already works with data. You want to move towards more advanced analytics or a better paid role. For you, Intro certificates will be boring and low value. Instead, aim for tool-specific or cloud certificates that align with your team stack, more advanced tracks, SQL plus Python, analytics engineering, data modeling, and credentials that show I can own more complex analysis and automation. Think of certifications here as leverage for a promotion or a job change, not basic education. And step four, use job ads as your roadmap. One of the most underrated ways to choose the right certification is to let job descriptions do the work for you. Here's a simple process. First, collect 10 to 20 job ads for roles you actually want in 2026. Junior data analyst, marketing analyst, BI analyst, operations analyst. Then highlight tools like SQL, Tableau, Power BI, etc. Skills like A-B testing, dashboards, stakeholder communication, ETL reporting, so on and so forth, and any specific certifications they mention by name. Then count how often each tool or skill appears. This gives you a personal skills heat map. Then ask, which certification will help me tick as many of these boxes as possible fast? Does it cover the tools and workflows I keep seeing? Does it include projects I can show in a portfolio that matches these ads? If a certification looks glossy, but barely overlaps with real job postings, it is probably not the right one for you. I used a very similar approach to identify the most crucial real life skills to teach in my data analysis lab community as I scraped thousands of LinkedIn job postings to ensure that members only learn through projects that teach the most bang for buck data analysis skills using the most in-demand tools. If you wanna check out or maybe even join Data Analysis Lab, don't forget to check out the link in the description below. And step five, turn the certification into a portfolio. A certification by itself is not magic. What gets you hired faster is how you use it. For every module or course you complete, Ask yourself this, can I turn this into a standalone project on my portfolio? Can I recreate a similar analysis using a public data set that matches my target industry? Can I write a short case study explaining the problem, the data, the steps, and the insights? For example, if your certification includes a sales dashboard, rebuild it with a public retail data set and publish it 
in your portfolio. If it teaches SQL joins and window functions, create a mini project answering real business questions with SQL and document your queries. This is how you transform I have a certificate into I can already do the kind of work you expect from a junior analyst. So to recap the mindset for choosing the best data analyst certification to find the job fast in 2026. Start with your goal, not the logo. Understand what type of certification you actually need. Know your starting point and pick a level that stretches you, not one that overwhelms or bores you. Use job postings as your roadmap so every course and certificate maps back to real demand. Convert everything you learn into a portfolio and clear stories you can tell in interviews. If you'd like me to break down specific certifications and even rank them by how fast I think they can get you job ready, let me know in the comments below and I can do a follow-up video going into actual names and options. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this and check the links in the description below for all of the resources I mentioned earlier. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.